Flex Tissue Model Systems provide a robust system to generate accessible ex vivo 3D tissue from epithelial-derived organs. This short video focuses on tips to optimize the MIMICS differentiation protocol using the Air-Liquid interface. This includes helpful information on harvesting adult stem cells for differentiation, optimizing the setup of transwell inserts, and monitoring and identifying successful versus unsuccessful differentiation in the air-liquid interface system. MIMICS Expansion Media is designed for the rapid proliferation of adult stem cells. In this section, we provide tips for harvesting adult stem cells for air-liquid interface differentiation. Adult stem cells are ready for harvesting when they have reached 70% confluency. The size and spacing of colonies within the plate are important when identifying whether your cells are ready to harvest. The image on the left shows adult stem cell colonies that are well-spaced but too small for harvesting. The image on the right demonstrates a large adult stem cell colony. Large colonies may have compromised differentiation and expansion capacities and should be avoided. The purity of the starting adult stem cell population is also important. When isolating adult stem cells from tissue biopsies using the MIMICS tissue collection kit, adult stem cells must be monitored for unwanted host tissue fibroblast growth. Images on the screen show examples of adult stem cell expansion cultures with host tissue fibroblast growth. If fibroblast contamination is detected, the culture can be cleaned up using the MagSelect Plus Human EPCAM Isolation Kit. R&D Systems also provides MIMICS adult stem cell lines. These are cryopreserved as high-density, purified populations and are already free of host tissue fibroblast contamination. Current cell lines available can be found at www.rndsystems.com slash MIMICS. MIMICS Tissue Model Systems is optimized for adult stem cell expansion in a six-well plate. One well of a six-well plate provides enough cells to seed one transwell insert in a 24-well plate. This is approximately 450,000 cells per 24-well insert. The MIMICS Starter Kit provides enough reagents to prepare 12 transwell inserts for differentiation. When seeding adult stem cells into transwell inserts for differentiation, the purity and density of the cells helps dictate the speed and robustness of the differentiation. The image on the screen shows the optimal purity of adult stem cells prior to plating for differentiation. To achieve this purity, it is recommended to run the expanded, harvested adult stem cells through an irradiated fibroblast removal protocol. The image on the left shows harvested stem cells prior to fibroblast removal. The image on the right shows adult stem cells after fibroblast removal. Clusters of two to three cells are often observed, and when determining cell density, these clusters can be counted as one cell. Differentiation of MIMICS adult stem cells is performed in an air-liquid interface using transwell inserts. Prior to plating the stem cells, transwell inserts should be prepared with a coating of Coltrex basement membrane extract, followed by a monolayer of MIMICS irradiated fibroblasts. This combination provides important structural support for the three-dimensional differentiation of adult stem cells. For robust differentiation, the irradiated fibroblast should be in a healthy and confluent monolayer, such as the example displayed on the screen. A general tip when working with transwell inserts for differentiation is to avoid puncturing the insert membrane. This can occur when coating with Coltrex basement membrane extracts, when adding irradiated fibroblasts or adult stem cells, and when exchanging media. One well of a six-well plate of adult stem cells growing in MIMICS expansion media will provide enough cells to seed a single well of a 24-well transwell plate. This density was chosen to optimize the speed and efficiency of differentiation. This time-lapse video uses MIMICS GI descending colon stem cells to illustrate the ideal progression of cell differentiation in the MIMICS system. To achieve a successful differentiation, we suggest the following. First, plate an even monolayer of adult stem cells. Approximately 450,000 adult stem cells are ideal for the MIMICS GI system. Second, after plating adult stem cells into the transwell insert, MIMICS expansion media should be placed in both the upper and lower chambers of the transwell insert. This is an important step for initiating differentiation within the transwell. Third, once adult stem cells begin to show signs of differentiation in MIMICS expansion media, 
transition of the cells into an air-liquid interface should be initiated. For Mimic's GI tissues, this occurs after approximately four days in the transwell system. This image is an example of the ideal tissue morphology for initiating the transition to the air-liquid interface. Note the beginning formation of tissue invaginations. Fourth, it is typical to first observe tissue differentiation around the periphery of the transwell insert. Monitor your wells to ensure differentiation occurs throughout the well to provide a uniform tissue surface. Last, as intestinal and airway tissues differentiate, the cells begin to secrete mucus. This is a sign of a healthy differentiation. However, the mucus must be removed periodically during differentiation and maintenance of the tissue in vitro. Mucus must be removed every other day by careful aspiration and multiple rinses with warm phosphate buffered saline. That concludes this video on tips to optimize differentiation using Mimix tissue model systems. Using the tips in this video, you should be well on your way to getting your tissue model set up in your lab.